My mom made my dad's life a living hell for two years. So, the EP, Antitytled Parent, sadly is my mother in this story, this was going on for since I was born but it turned extreme about three or four years ago, I don't remember anymore, most it's a blur from just stress and horrible memories of being in my room hoping for it all to end. The characters in this story will be my dad, me, MM, my mom, entitled mom, and my brother, shitbag to me, as well as side characters like my teachers and my grandparents. So, a bit of a backstory, I was always a really damn silent kid, having dark thoughts to kill myself and being alone most times, I love being alone now but not when I have these dark thoughts which still happen a lot of times, mm, she never really cared about me, she was always busy with herself, her computer, her games, Facebook and other problems society had, like vaccines, yes, one of those people, I did get a lot of vaccines when I was young but I stopped because of my MO. M at around 14 or 13, I was a kid and scared of vaccines, didn't know any better and my dad couldn't do shit about it, he is a man of work, coming home and going to work, constantly, he works at night, then sleeps during the day most times, he drives trains full of cargo, so he couldn't do anything for me, but he did give me most of what I want, turning me into a bit of an entitled kid myself but I don't normally ask much to anyone, I just wanna be on my spot playing games like e Pokemon and Ark Survival Evolved or talking to my online friend, who was a trooper for this story as well. Now the story. This went on for the two years, resulting in yelling and a lot of things broken, my dad's heart included. She kept accusing him of things he never did, he got thinner, depressed, so did I, I just wanted it to end and yell at them to just stop when I was hearing them yelling, even one morning I saw her try to assault my dad by jumping at him. My dad never did this to her, even if he felt like it. Now the entitlement, she thought, and still thinks, she is the center of the universe, everyone who doesn't agree with her is against her and wants her dead, wants her to fail, including myself because I believed my dad was innocent, and my brother? He had a part time and was all day off the house to ignore the situation, he didn't help me with trying to fix things. I blame him heavily for this. One day, at school, I completely broke down, I wanted to die, badly, I had an injury at the time, I was sitting and was at a kitchen, was trying cooking school at the time, I just started crying my eyes out seeing my friends all working and me being useless, dark thoughts filling my head, it was one of the events I usually had alone but this time a lot of people were around me and did notice it of course, I was escorted out and to two psychologists, where they calmed me down. With some drawing, it is my passion, and called my mom, I thought at the time it would help. Boy was a wrong. She drove me a bit halfway home, stopped the car and was just asking me multiple times, am I a good mother? You hate me don't you? I knew you did I was just speechless, she didn't even had in her mind it could be because I was depressed, she was just thinking of herself, I was baffled with it, my own mother, when we arrived home I just locked myself in my room, crying while my parents yelled again. That wasn't the end of it, she had the balls to move out of our house without telling me or my dad, she moved with my brother as well, they both bought together a house behind our backs. As well as made my dad suffer with splitting the value of the house as well as turn their car into her name I quote what she said to my dad about the car and the money too I deserve more money, you are stealing the money and the stuff that I work so hard for. We take care of the car when I feel like it nothing you can do about it so, while she was gone she still was felt for some months after she moved, I was still depressed and am still being told stories about that my mom never cared about me, how she let me dress badly, took my new clothes I liked and let me be sick not caring about it at all, which I can see are all damn true, she has a pair of pants I loved, didn't get them back, as well as she had my gold I got when I was a baby, but those she did give to me recently, thankfully. Now in conclusion, I don't talk to her anymore, and my dad is happy with a new girlfriend, I still feel stressed, it was sudden, but that's another story. Oh. And I must mention, a friend of mine, who I met online, she was the one keeping me sane though all of this, she is sick right now, can't contact her, hope she is alright. P.S., sorry if it's a bit of mess, I was ridding as I was remembering stuff, I just wanted to throw up all of this to get it off my back.